last class of the week. So we're still on our theme of gratitude and um, how that relates to presence, how it relates to wholeness. Um, so we'll kind of sit, settle into what we've, um, how we've been beginning our classes this week just by coming into our comfortable seat. And again, letting the pelvis sort of represent the body and allowing that to kind of settle, maybe kind of shake it out a little bit, get really heavy in that pelvic area. And start to allow that to become that symbol of settling into the moment, of releasing all resistance to the moment of accepting and just allowing the presence to settle. Attention might go inward here by closing the eyes and focusing on the movements in and out of your breath. And as those next few rounds of breath start to pass through the body, each inhale get a little taller and feel the upward pull of energy. Each exhale, feel your shoulders and pelvis settle a little deeper into the moment, into the floor, into the earth. And then for the next few cycles of breath, each inhale, feel your heart open a little bit more. So shoulders are rolling back and down as you exhale and heart is lifting and opening as you inhale. We're still feeling if we can remain really present, that presence in the pelvis, that settling into the moment, that opening through the heart and that elevating through the mind. So we have the energy flowing in all different ways as we settle into our practice. And we'll begin to combine our breath with movements in the arms. So bringing hands down to also ground our action in the moment, action in the world. So that way we're not acting on premeditated or some scaric patterns, but grounding our action in this moment. On our inhale, sweeping up, gathering up the moment, all the abundance that's around us, pressing it between the palms, exhaling to pull it into the heart. Inhaling to receive exhaling to touch the earth again. Let's take four more of those. Feel all the energetic shifts as we take our last few rounds. And just pausing with hands connecting to the earth, grounding in the pelvis and the action, so body and all movements grounded in this moment. Let's sweep hands just gently behind the body to lean back to free the legs and feet. We'll stay on the sitting bones and just let the uh, soles of the feet ground through the floor now. And hands can come then to the fronts of the knees and we'll take our two different directions of our cat-cow movement. So first our traditional, so inhaling into cat, heart opening, chin lifting, shoulders back, exhaling, I'm oh, sorry, I got those reversed. <laughs> exhaling into cat, back body opens, shoulders forward. So inhaling cow, exhaling cat. Three more. On your third exhale here, just remain in your cat pose. Take a big inhale in cat, then exhale into cow. Two more. And 
and coming back to our neutral spine. We can lean back into the hands again and bring the legs out uh, wide. So uh, heels coming to the floor now. And just adjusting your pelvis so that you've got that little tiny bit of forward tilt in the pelvis. So belly button's pointing ever so slightly down. Kind of soften and relax your legs and feet and lift and lengthen, stay active through your torso. At first, we're just gonna find some soft side to side motion. So just kind of letting your hands sweep along the tops of your legs and knees as you lean side to side. Kind of warming up um, the muscles that get really sensitive in our lateral bends. And then the next time your hand comes over to that left side, you can drop your elbow to your leg or to the floor uh, if you like, and then sweep that right arm kind of up and over as if to reach for the left toes. And then slightly draw that right shoulder back, keep lengthening through the crown of the head and the right fingertips as you take your lateral bend towards the left. See if you can kind of Try to stay a little grounded through that right sitting bone. It might pop just a little off the floor as we lean our weight. But see if you can kind of let that come down. Feel how that active downward pull on that right sitting bone um, heightens the sensation in the pose. Heart still open to the moment, ready to fill with breath and bliss and gratitude. One more inhale and exhale. Then inhale to come back to neutral, coming back to both hands on tops of the legs. Full inhale and exhale here. Grounding in the moment, then letting your right hand slide along your right leg. Left arm reaches up and over, pulling that left shoulder gently back to open the heart, continuing to lengthen through the crown letting there be space in your body to receive that bliss, making space for gratitude to happen, making space to be open to the moment. Then again, just to check in with our presence, gently pull that left sitting bone slightly more down towards the earth. Notice again how that heightens the sensation of your pose. So we have our elevated mind, our open heart, and our grounded pelvis. One more full cycle of breath in and out in our lean. And inhaling back to center, exhaling to bring the hands back down. Maybe just kind of gentle twisting through the body here. And then we'll pull uh, underneath the right knee to pull it in towards the, uh, the right foot in towards the lap or the groin. And again, settling into the pelvis and then turning the heart towards the left toes. Big inhale here, exhale, take a little fold over that left leg. Still active through our torso for this first half. We're gonna see if we can soften the back of the left leg, soften the left foot. It's possible to press into that left hand and just gently turn the heart a little bit more to the left side. And then the right hand can come to the outside of your left leg at the knee, the calf, or maybe the ankle or heel. And then you can bring that left hand back a little bit further and maybe press here to twist more. So leg is still ideally pretty soft, torso is still long. Notice where the sensations have shift, just remaining present to how the pose unfolds, staying in the moment, staying connected to your breath and where it flows into the body. Notice where that space is for opening to the moment, space for that gratitude to flood your body. On your next inhale, release the twist, come back up to center. We're just going to draw that right knee uh, upward, sole of the right foot coming to the floor. And just briefly, we're going to lean back into that right hand, sweeping the left arm up, and then bringing either the elbow, the wrist, or the hand to the outside of that right knee. And just for about two breaths, twisting to the other side. Then 
and releasing that twist, leaning back into both hands and switching sides. So right leg's gonna come back out wide, left knee's gonna bend, left foot in towards the groin. Sitting up nice and tall, softening the lower body, engaging the upper body, twist your heart towards your right toes. Exhale, fold over that right leg. Check in that the bottom half of the body is still passive. Upper body is still active. Elevated mind, open heart, grounded and present pelvis. Gently press into that right hand to twist the heart just a little to the right. And then left hand again coming outside of that right leg, calf, knee, ankle. And then bringing the left or right hand back a little bit to press into the floor, twisting the heart a bit more. Check in with that softness, that passive release to the floor in the feet and legs and pelvis. Feel how this pressure in the right hand opens the heart. And then maintain that link to elevate the mind. With your next inhale, release your twist, come back up to neutral spine. Let the left knee come up towards the ceiling, left foot on the floor, leaning back into the left hand, sweep your right arm up as you inhale, elbow or wrist or hand to the outside of your left knee, just two breaths once you arrive in your shape. Releasing that pose. And bringing both knees to bend now, both soles of the feet to the center of our mat, knees wide. And bringing the hands back away from the body, fingertips point away, inhale and lift. Pull your shoulders back, lift your chin, let the whole front body open wide. Pelvis is still grounded, hands and action is still grounded. Heart is spacious, filling with gratitude, open to the present moment. Mind is still lifted and lengthened as the crown reaches up and back. One more big inhale, fill your body with breath. Exhale, start to come back to neutral, upright, tall spine. And then walk the hands in front of your feet and just take a little fold over your feet here. You can choose here just to walk the hands forward, maybe dropping down to elbows and possibly choosing that cat arch as chin comes to chest and back of the heart lift. So lots of options how we can take this fold forward. Take that time, as we mentioned, yoga and gratitude are both ways of going inside the self. So take a little moment here to pause in that inward glance, checking in with your heart, looking at your insides from that elevated mindset so that we're not critical or judging ourselves, but watching ourselves with that eye of compassion, observing with love and openness. And walking again back to neutral. We'll start to swing the legs behind the body to take our uh, tabletop shape. And once we're at hands and knees, we'll start to strengthen and stretch out the backs of the legs. So right foot coming behind, toes under, press into the hands, possibly exhaling that left knee up towards the chest for the next couple of breaths. Maintain the back of the heart open, shoulder blades pulling away, heel reaching away from the right hip. And then switching sides, both knees back to the floor and then left leg reaching back, same rules. Pressing in, opening up the back of the leg, opening the heart, and then possibly exhaling that right knee in towards the chest.
staying here in our left leg extended back. We're gonna drop the left heel towards the center of the mat. Right foot might come a little wider to the right as well. Then balancing on that right hand, rolling the left arm up and out. Opening the heart, send your heart forward, reach your crown away from your tailbone. And then choose here if you'd like to stay grounded through that left foot or possibly lift up for a variation on half moon. A little easier to reach the floor with the right knee bent. If your leg is lifted, we might try for the last two breaths, bringing the left knee to bend and reaching that left hand back for the left foot. And then see if we can bow the heart forward a little bit more by grasping the left ankle or the top of the left foot. Last breath here. Then we're going to bring the left foot and the left hand towards the top of the mat. So coming into a little lunge shape, right foot swinging back onto the mat for a low lunge, grounding through right hand and left foot. Sweep your left hand back up again. This time maybe reaching back behind you or straight up. We might also again reach for the right foot this time. Pressing into the right hand to keep the heart lifted. Taking that little pause. If you have your hand on your right foot, release your right foot back to the floor. Take a big inhale to lift your heart. Exhale, reach your left hand towards the right top corner of your mat. Inhale, twist open to the left again. Exhale, reach for the corner. Inhale, swing open. Two more. Coming back into our lunge shape, we're gonna tuck the right toes underneath the body and then step back into downward facing dog. Take a few paddling out uh, motions here. This is our first down dog of practice. Feel free to kind of lift and lower the heels or bend and straighten the knees. See if you can maintain that open back of the heart shape between the shoulder blades, head heavy and low. Next, exhale, both knees can drop coming back into our table pose. Again, maintaining that little bit of cat arch between the shoulder blades. Right leg will reach back again, just like we did for our stretches, then right heel drops down to the mat. Left foot can come a little wider. And then balancing on that left hand, rolling the right arm. Uh, take a few breaths here with your foot on the floor. Heart forward, stretching between the wrists. Then possibly lifting that right leg into our little half moon variation. Few breaths here, finding our steadiness, finding our balance. And maybe choosing to bring that uh, left knee to bend, uh, sorry, right knee to bend, right hand coming back for that right foot. Just two breaths here before transitioning into our lunge shape, right hand, right foot coming up towards the top of the mat, left foot swinging back onto the mat, balancing on left hand and right foot, inhale to sweep your right arm up and open, heart opening, maybe we reach up, maybe back, maybe we grasp for that left foot, pressing into the left hand to find a little more lift through the chest. Releasing any bind on your next exhale. Right hand sweeps up towards the top left corner of your mat. Inhale to twist open. Three more like that. And then coming back to our lunge, tucking left toes and swinging back again to downward facing dog. Taking a few breaths here. 
opening the back of the heart, lifting the pelvis, grounding through the mind here, sort of inverting our previous uh, incarnation of this pose of presence, heart open at the back body now, presence in the mind, elevation through the body. Maybe that's symbolic of us feeling that flow of grateful energy, that current of joy passing through us. Last breath here, then travel towards the top of the mat to find Uttanasana, forward fold. Taking a moment here just to kind of swing out and relax and soften the upper body. Engaging through the legs and feet. Grounding through the feet. Inhale, find your little half lift, lengthen. And then again, that little cat arch in, the, in between the shoulders and then cow as the heart comes towards the floor. Just moving with your breath for a few rounds. Coming back to flat back, reaching the arms straight forward and then hinging up to our standing shape. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a little pause. From inside that abundant and spacious heart, we're just gonna let the arms drop and sweep out wide, that big circle gathering between the hands. Exhale back into the heart, inhale here, exhale, touch the earth as we fold forward. So we'll do three like that. So touching the earth, inhale, sweep up. Exhale, prayer hands to heart. Inhale, receive. Exhale, manifest back down to the earth. Gathering our resources from the earth, sweep out, gather up that abundance. Exhale, prayer hands and heart. Inhale, exhale, fold, touch the earth. Last round, sweeping from the earth out wide. Exhale, receive into the heart as you inhale here. Exhale, touch it back down. This time we're going to step back into um, the left leg stretching back behind us, left knee dropping, low lunge, right foot forward. We're going to take a few little variations on our lift here. So grounding through the feet and then inhaling to lift and open the heart, inhaling to lift the mind. Arms can raise up either straight, wide, maybe even binding behind the back to keep the heart open and lifted. Feel those same three things, pelvis lowering, Heart lifting and opening, mind elevating. Whatever variation you've chosen here, bring your hands back to your right thigh. Take another big inhale to lift your heart. Exhale, twist to the right. Find either your left uh, elbow or wrist outside of your right knee, and then possibly again, tucking the left toes and raising that left knee off the mat to find a prayer twist. Pelvis is still low, heart is still open, head is still reaching upward. Presence, gratitude, and that elevated mind that ties the two. One more breath. Then come to framing your right toes, step back to downward facing dog. Take either five breaths here in down dog, or we can flow through that optional vinyasa, finding plank, a little back bend, cobra or up dog. And finding your way back to down dog. And then stepping forward, Uttanasana. Letting the knees be bent just enough to touch the earth. We'll take our big sweep and pulling in three times again. So rising from the earth, gathering up all that beautiful energy, palms together. Exhale to heart, inhale, exhale, fold. Two more.
last round. Touching down to the earth again, this time that right foot's gonna step towards the back of our mat. Low lunge here. Nice big inhale to lift our heart and our mind, finding a place for our hands, either reaching up, out wide, or binding behind the back again. Heart is lifted, feel those same three spots. Grounded pelvis, open heart, elevated mind. Last breath, we're gonna bring both hands back to that front thigh. Inhale to lift the heart again. Exhale, find your twist. The twisting heart to the left, maybe right toes tuck and right knee pops up off the floor. Feel the balance and how balance keeps you really present. Feel transformation as we shift and that opens the heart and the effort to keep ourselves in that higher mind. Last breath, come to framing those left toes, step towards the back of the mat, find downward facing dog, five breaths or that optional vinyasa flow. Stepping again towards the top of the mat to find Uttanasana, We'll take three more of our uh, cycles here. So touch the earth, sweep up and open. Receive it into your heart. Big breath in, touch the earth. This last round, we're just gonna stay in our standing pose with hands at heart center. Take one full breath in stillness, bring your attention back inward. And we're gonna do both sides here, but we're gonna turn to um, the, I guess, left side of the mat, so we're facing the long edge. And then stepping wide, so we have a nice wide-legged shape. <clears throat> Feel grounded through your heels. Kind of press the toes into the mat. Point the pelvis and tailbone down a little bit. Lift, in your, lift through your heart and your crown and reach both hands up wide and tall. Next, exhale, we're gonna find our little goddess flow. So exhale into elbows and knees bending sinking down. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, sink. Feel the openness of the shape through the heart, especially the grounding through the feet and the pelvis. The upward pull of the head to keep our mind elevated. Next, exhale, pause in your goddess, bring your hands to your thighs, keep your shoulders down and back, and then exhale, drop your right shoulder in towards the center, inhale, back up. Exhale, drop your left shoulder in towards the center, come back up, just move with your breath, take a few of these twists. So even open, even grounded, we still have that choice of where our attention goes, where our perspective um, is centered. One more to each side. And then straighten at the knees and just fold forward into a centered fold here on the mat. Shift your hips gently side to side. Feel the inner thighs kind of opening and stretching. Let the upper body get soft here. Legs and feet active and strong. Start to walk your hands over towards your right foot, sinking into the right knee, letting the pelvis come low. 
and lifting and opening the heart, lifting and opening the head. Hands can be anywhere from supporting you on the floor to rolling open to binding behind that right hip if you like. We'll take about three breaths. before traveling towards the other side. So hands can support you as you uh, walk over to your left foot, right leg comes along again. Choose a place for your arms that feels right to you. Walking back towards our right foot again. We're gonna turn on the mat. Left foot can kind of stay where it is. Right toes are gonna to face the front of the mat. We're gonna hinge up and bring our arms out shoulder height, nice and wide, preparing for triangle pose. Reaching the right hand forward and reaching down towards the shin or the floor, the thigh, maybe the foot. Left fingertips reach straight up from the shoulder. Spine is long, heart is gently shifted forward. So we're grounded through the feet, open through the heart, elevated through the mind, present, grateful, and whole. As you inhale, hinge your body back up to wide arms and wide feet. Exhale into the right knee, find warrior two. Turn your palms up and down a few times just to rotate the arms in their sockets. Play with the wrists a little. Landing with the palms facing up. Take a big inhale and sweep your right arm back. Left arm coming to that back leg, exalting the warrior. Grounded, present, open, grateful, and elevated that wholeness mind. Next, exhale, start to bring both hands inside that right foot, coming back into our little skandasana shape. Hips low or low down. Maybe we twist open again here for a moment. And then we're gonna travel to the other side of the mat. This time, right foot's gonna stay where it is. Left toes are gonna turn towards the back of the mat. And we hinge up with arms wide again, preparing for our triangle pose. Reaching forward with that left hand, turning the body, finding our triangle here, heart forward, lifting through the mind, lifting through the right fingertips, grounded, present, open and grateful, higher mind engaged. Inhale to hinge back up, turning the palms up and down a few times, twisting the arms in their sockets, feel it in each joint. Then bending into that left knee, palms facing up, warrior two. Inhale, sweep it back, opening that left side body now, right hand resting on the back leg. Sink low through the pelvis, keep your heart open by pulling your left shoulder back. Lift through the mind, lift the crown of the head. Next, exhale, both hands coming back inside that left foot, coming back into our little skandasana. Maybe we roll open here. Then starting to walk hands back towards the center of that long edge of your mat. Adjust your feet so you feel grounded and strong through legs and feet. Maybe hips shift just a little side to side. And then exhale to fully soften the upper body. Our head and our pelvis have sort of switched places here. So we're grounding through the mind, finding a little stillness there. And elevating the body, allowing that current of divine energy, divine joy of gratitude to flow through us. Left hand comes to the floor just underneath the face, the very center of that long edge of the mat. Inhale, find your flat back. 
Exhale, inhale, right arm swings open. So we've got that standing wide-legged twist. Exhale, bring your right hand down, switching places, right hand under the face. Inhale, sweep open to the left, standing wide like a twist this direction. Feel your heart open, your mind lengthening, the grounding through your right hand and both feet. Presence, gratitude, and that wholeness mindset. Then we'll start to move with each breath. So exhale, left hand comes down. Inhale, right arm swings up. Exhale, switch. Release the right hand. Roll the left arm up. One more to each side. Both hands on the mat, bending at the knees a few times, just kind of softening the backs of the legs. We'll turn back towards the top of the mat and then just step both feet forward, finding Uttanasana again. Strong through the legs and feet, soft through the upper body. Widening the feet just a tiny bit. And then allowing the sitting bones to come become grounded again, reaching the tailbone down towards the floor as we turn our bodies right side up again into our yogi squat. Nice and tall through the spine. Crown of the head reaches tall. Hands can come to heart center. Feel those same three places, pelvis, heart, and head. Present, grateful, and wholeness minded. Let the hands come to touch the earth in front of you. From here, we'll take that little sweeping up and out wide, palms coming together above the head. Exhale, hands back to your heart. Inhale here, and as your hands come back to the earth, let them come behind you, sitting bones down to the floor again. Extending the legs long for a moment, just kind of shaking everything out. Then bending at the knees, soles of the feet back to the floor. We'll take our little cat shape so that the back body is broad, chin to chest. Look back inside yourself. Yoga and gratitude, both those practices of going inward and being able to see ourselves without judgment, staying in that higher mindset as we self-observe. Arms reach forward, palms open, fingers spread, and then take that slow and empowered decline to the spine on the mat. Feel your core engaging as you try to bring as much grace to this descent as you can. Slowly, slowly finding your way down, shoulders, back of your head, relaxing to the floor. Make a few adjustments if you need to to find a comfortable flat spot on your back. Then from here, we'll find just a few little strange uh, poses here. We've got our supine pigeon that we'll take into a twist. So right uh, ankle is gonna cross over that left knee. You can flex the right foot and just start to push with your leg muscles that right knee away from the body. Just feel that opening at the right hip for a few breaths. Then trying to keep your tailbone pointed down, maybe there's a little arch behind your back here. Let the uh, left foot rise up off of the mat. And you can reach through to grasp the front of that left knee. Again, keeping the tailbone kind of pointed down to arch through the spine, the low back. Hang out here in your pigeon. You can also just use the left hand for that purpose and use the right hand to press the right knee away. Just pausing. Feeling that opening, how different this pigeon feels than when we're upright. Keeping pelvis, legs, and feet in their same position, release your hands 
and come out either wide to a T or a little cactus or a big wide V shape. And allow the right foot to come over towards the left side of the mat to find our little pigeon twist. Soften into it, both shoulders grounded. Head can be looking straight up or it can turn to one side if you like. Scan for places where you can surrender a little more to the floor, where you can ground yourself a little bit more openly into the moment. Feel the broad space at the front of the ribs and collarbones as your heart swells open. Feel the mind here also grounded. When our mind is stuck in that ego space, it's busy, it's all over the place. But even in this moment with the head down on the floor, we can maintain that elevated mind by staying calm and focused. If you need a drishti or a focal point, just follow your breath. When you're ready to bring yourself back to center, uncross your ankles, bring both soles of the feet to the floor, let the knees fall a few times in either direction. Feel any asymmetry that you might feel in the body, especially in that right hip. And come back to neutral and we'll find the other side. So left ankle crossing over right this time, left knee pulling away from the body, left foot is flexed. Grounding still through that right foot. Start to point your tailbone down. Feel that little arch rise in the back of your uh, sacral area. And then allow the right foot to float off of the floor. Maybe reaching in to bring hands in front of the right shin or knee. Maybe left hand presses gently on the left knee to push it away from the body even as the right knee pulls in. Stay grounded through the tailbone even as the top of the sacrum might lift away from the floor. Heart is open. Grounding through the tailbone, calm mind, keeping us in that elevated state of thinking. pausing and freezing our legs and feet, bringing the hands and arms back away. We're gonna find that uh, pigeon twist again. So left sole of the foot coming to the right side of your mat, settling and coming into the present moment. Lower body softening, feel the heart open. Head might be again, just looking straight up towards the ceiling or maybe we turn head to the side. Just remaining paused. Feel the grounding of presence. Feel the openness in the heart of gratitude and the calm state of mind. About two more breaths here. Scanning for places we can let go a little more. And gently untwisting the body, letting the feet come back to the floor, knees again falling side to side. And just notice if there's any other pose that you might need, maybe a brief bridge pose or a little cannonball as we pull the knees into the chest. Maybe we find a little motion of our knees rolling circularly or side to side. Maybe after we've pointed the tailbone down, it would feel good to kind of lift the pelvis away from the floor as the knees come in towards the chest. Start to listen into your own body about what is needed. And as you complete whatever 
other poses you might need. Begin to find your way into that resting space. ground a little bit more deeply than we have even before, settling your weight fully into the floor. And becoming fully present again to the breath. Notice if there's any small adjustment you could make to open the heart just a bit more. And feel the embodiment of those three qualities. Presence, as we settle into the moment, settling into the floor. Gratitude as the heart is open. And that elevated mind that keeps us in a calm and centered state, present not only to our breath and what's happening within us, but also everything happening around us. Grateful to be connected to all things, all sensations. And a mind that recognizes ourself as part of a whole, complete in and of ourselves, and complete within our place in the wider world.
Remain present to the peace within you. How peaceful it is to let go of resistance and fully arrive in the moment, fully rest in the moment. Feel presence as having a peaceful quality and peace having a very present quality. Feel your body open to the earth as you settle in. Feel your body open to the space and possibility all around you. And begin breathing more deeply into the body, allowing the heart center and the chest to expand a little more. Open to presence, open to gratitude, making space within for that abundant flow of joy, gratitude, grace, spaciousness, vastness of our true nature. Feel the peaceful and relaxed mind, stable in that state of higher mindedness, higher consciousness, a worldview that encompasses love, compassion, peace. As your breath continues to deepen, Feel that current of joyfulness, that contentedness that we tap into in our practice today, beginning to flood each part of your body. 
beginning in the heart center where we've made space and become more open and allowing it to flow up through the neck and into the mind, down through the shoulders, arms and hands, into the fingertips, down through the torso, into the hips and legs and feet and toes. Keep receiving more with your inhale and letting go more with your exhale and begin to feel that current of energy, aliveness, gratitude, and openness, beginning to find gentle movements arriving in the fingertips and toes. Stay present to that flow of your breath, that infinite sort of re, uh, refilling, replenishment. And allow that nourishing breath, that nourishing current of joyfulness to come alive in all the different parts of your body now. Arms and legs, maybe head. And take a nice big stretch in some way, either long or wide, to open up more fully, embodying that vastness, openness, presence, gratitude. And just like we did as we've been sweeping our arms, kind of pull everything in towards the heart center. Curl in, embrace it, open to it, and let yourself fall to one side. Take at least a breath, maybe two there, and that little seed shape on your side. And let that seed open as you find your way back to a seated shape. Grounding through the sitting bones, fully present in the moment, softened. Hands coming back to the earth to ground our actions in that same present moment that we act not from patterns or habituation, but from being firmly planted in this moment, responding. Open yourself up as you inhale, sweep out wide again, gather up all that the moment has to offer between your palms, exhale, draw it into your heart. Inhale here to make space for your gratitude. Exhale, let your chin drop towards your chest, looking inside from that higher mind with, with love, with compassion, with peace for yourself. Feel your chest rising with each breath in, opening up with gratitude, opening up to the joy that is abundantly available. Feel it coursing through you. Let it bring you peace. Let it bring you that sense of wholeness, connectedness, not just to yourself, but connectedness to all life. Letting this current that flows through you not be just a blessing to you, but to all whose lives intersect with yours. And so we close our practice with this prayer, Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings be happy, healthy, safe, and free. Namaste.